Yo dudes, what's up? This is Planet Keith, I'm Keith, and it's episode 35 of the weekly vlog thing. Yay! Oh, what a week. I'm really sorry about this, but it's going to be a lot of politics because there's been an absolute flood, a tsunami of crap hitting the fan. I'll try and compress that into one juicy bit a bit later. We'll start the week on Tuesday when it was my making a cooking video day. So I was making a Christmas sherry trifle and it, uh, well, it failed miserably. Uh, I spent all day, I, I was cheating. I was using instant custard and instant ready-made jelly, jello, and they both failed to set till the end when you've been waiting hours and hours and hours for it to set and it hasn't. Uh, so that was utterly, completely, totally disappointing. And so to cheer me up, Mrs. Planet took me out to a pub for tea. Uh, and uh, that turned out not to be very cheerful either because uh, even though they were, they were fairly quiet, but they did have one big party in, which must have arrived nanoseconds before we did because suddenly the kitchen, probably, you know, just Sharon or whoever, <laughs> uh, flooded with orders and we were told it would take a, about an hour for hours to be got to. Um, so, yeah, well, you know, there's there's not a lot of uh, alternative around there. I didn't fancy driving more in the rain, so uh, we stayed. We waited, and then after the hour, went and found, went and asked, and they said another half hour. <sighs> so eventually, it arrived, and it was you know the 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 mediocre stuff that we absolutely ex expected because we do eat there. <laughs> every every couple of months or so, I guess. Anyway. <sighs> And it's not weather spoons. So we went home and I still needed cheering up. So uh, we watched half of Mary Poppins, the original 1964 Disney version with Dick Van Dyke doing the worst Cockney accent ever. I mean, mine's worse, but it's <laughs> he has actually apologised to the British nation for doing that. But um, at the same time, there, there were real Brits on set who were too scared of his, his absolute mega stardom to say, your accent's crap, mate, you need to work on that. Very enjoyable. I mean, it was, it was only half the film because we watched the other half previously. Wednesday, trifle version two, and it worked, and it was uh, uh, diabetes on a plate, really, or in a bowl. Glad to have got that out the way, and even as I speak, where are we? It's Monday. It yeah, it's f five days later. I just finished the last bit for my breakfast this morning. <laughs> okay, here's the political segment. The uh, triggering thing on this day was the revelation of a video of Boris Johnson's press secretary, Allegra Stratton, from a year ago when she'd more or less just been hired. They'd spent two and a half million pounds of taxpayers' money on building a, a media suite in the Downing Street building, where Allegra was meant to be doing a daily press briefing so that we didn't have to listen to the likes of P.M. Bozo bumbling on about uh, whatever. Um, however, it turned out she wasn't very good. A video surfaced of her doing a, a rehearsal and she was asked a hypothetical question about a Christmas party that may or may not have taken place two days previously in number 10, Downing Street, the seat of government, or, you know, Prime Minister's house and office block. <laughs> and she sort of giggled about it and claimed she went home, she, it didn't happen, it wasn't socially distanced, if it had happened and it was a business meeting, not a party, and it was just a complete car crash. And you know, that should have been erased immediately. But it wasn't because, you know, everybody is now a walking evidence machine with their their little cameras on their phones pointing at you. So you cannot get away from, you know, the off chance or the likelihood that somebody is recording what you're doing, especially in a, a public um, environment like that. Oh, God, I can't half off long. Anyway, um, it, uh, so it turns out, obviously, denial, 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 and they're focusing on this one thing from two days previously. There had been six other similar events in 
number 10 or number 11 where Boris lives, Downing Street. Um, so yeah, uh, so not good and it did lead to the resignation of Allegra Stratton, um, but not yet the resignation of PM Bozo. The man is under increasing pressure. There's all, all of the scandals from the, the, the previous year and beyond. Uh, Wallpaper Gate, the, you know, how, how was the extravagant redecoration of his flat paid for? It wasn't paid for by him, we can be sure of that. Uh, and in fact, it has been found conclusively that it was paid for by Tory donors, which um, another way of saying that is it's like a bribe, you know, uh, it's, it's completely unacceptable. <sighs> but most of what this man does is. An investigation's found traces of cocaine in 11 out of 12 toilets in the uh, House of Parliament. And the fascistic um, proposal they keep coming up with, like, oh, let's um, withdraw from the Human Rights Act. It's like, they don't realise, uh, they do this so that, you know, like, immigrants don't have human rights. What they don't realise, because it's so fucking stupid, is that takes away my human rights as well. And theirs. And uh, what, what is so bad about having human rights? It's, it, honestly, it's, it's beyond me. It really is. That's why I'm not a politician, because I get angry, because I believe in things. On Thursday, an amazing thing happened. PM Bozo has become a father, again, for the unspecified nth time. Um, I do remember less than nine months ago, I'm pretty sure a lot less than nine months ago, uh, that we were told um, Carrie Antoinette, his wife, was uh, pregnant again. Um, and lo, the baby has arrived. And uh, there was no preamble, there was no reporting that she'd be gone into labour or anything. Uh, so, you know, if, if that baby wasn't induced, I don't know. I might be being cynical and unkind, but I think I'm allowed to. <laughs> and so then it was reported the Prime Minister is taking some time off for parental leave. Uh, he, he is on record from well, 25 years ago and since then, uh, saying he doesn't believe in the idea of um, husbands having parental leave. He's, he's even a bit d doubtful about mothers having it. Um, so, it, but it is damn convenient for him right now to uh, be unavailable. <laughs> On Saturday, we got on with uh, decorating the tree. We'd found um, some 3D printed plastic baubles that I did last year and that I've completely forgotten about, but they need, they just needed finishing off with something to, some way to hang them onto the tree. So I did that on Saturday. Took all day. Yeah, right. <laughs> I didn't design those, by the way, but they, they are fab uh, and I do like them. On Sunday, we went shopping in Kirkstall and then we finished up at a pub at the Bridge Inn and uh, just had a pint there. That was, that was nice and slightly festive. And then on Sunday evening, an unexpected broadcast from the Prime Minister on the telly. And I think this, this, this is another political move to, to try and get some sympathy on his side, because, uh, you know, right now is is the lowest he's ever been and his political rivals are now openly talking about how they're going to get rid of him. PM Bozo made a, an announcement about booster jabs for Covid being brought, brought forward and they want to try and get them all done in the next three weeks which is tough because it's like well he's aiming for a million a day uh, that is an awful lot and talking about using volunteers, which they have been doing previously as like marshals to get everybody lined up outside the needle shop, but also bringing in the army. Now, as far as I recall, the army are mostly trained in logistics, okay, and killing people. Um, so if I was a conspiracy theorist, I'd be having a great time composing memes um, of, uh, you know, the, the army actually killing people with booster jabs. But I'm not a conspiracy theorist, so I'm not even going to suggest that. Anyway, it's been a heck of a week. Next week will be even more hecker of a week because uh, 
there's a by-election on Thursday. Um, that normally the Tories would just walk it, but right now it's neck and neck between them and the Lib Dems, so they could lose it, and that would be, uh, well, very interesting. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Thanks for watching this drivel, and see you next time.